This video experiment looks at the reactions of eight different solutions in each of their combinations. The eight different solutions are aluminum sulfate, barium chloride, lead nitrate, potassium iodide, silver nitrate, sodium carbonate, sodium hydroxide, and zinc chloride. All of these solutions are clear and colorless. However, when they react, different precipitates will be forming. In this experiment, a bulk of the report is looking at the different combinations and writing out the fully balanced chemical reactions as well as identifying, based on solubility, any of the precipitates that form. In the reaction, we will be going through each of the precipitation patterns one by one over all eight solutions. After which, you will have an unknown where you will see the full reaction pattern of eight unlabeled solutions. These solutions are the aluminum sulfate through zinc chloride solutions that are shown already. You will be determining based on the observations of your unknown and looking at the different patterns what is the identity of each of your eight solutions. The first reaction set is with the aluminum sulfate solution. Overall, the aluminum sulfate forms a brilliant white precipitate with the barium chloride and lead nitrate solutions, as well as additional white precipitates with sodium carbonate and sodium hydroxide. All of the other solutions, aluminum sulfate, potassium iodide, silver nitrate, and zinc chloride, give no precipitate. The next pattern to observe is the reaction pattern of barium chloride. Barium chloride gives a bright white precipitate with aluminum sulfate, silver nitrate, sodium carbonate, and sodium hydroxide. There is no reaction with the barium chloride, lead nitrate, potassium iodide, or zinc chloride. The next pattern to look at is the reaction pattern of lead nitrate. Lead nitrate 
forms a brilliant yellow precipitate with potassium iodide. White precipitates with aluminum sulfate, sodium carbonate, and sodium hydroxide. There is no reaction with barium chloride, lead nitrate, silver nitrate, or zinc chloride. The next reaction pattern is that of the potassium iodide solution. The potassium iodide solution forms a brilliant yellow precipitate with lead nitrate and an off-white, slightly eggshell yellow precipitate with silver nitrate. There is no reaction with aluminum sulfate, barium chloride, potassium iodide, sodium carbonate, sodium hydroxide, or zinc chloride. The next reaction pattern to observe is the reactions of silver nitrate. The silver nitrate forms a brilliant white precipitate with the barium chloride, sodium carbonate, and zinc chloride. It forms an off-white precipitate with potassium iodide and a brown precipitate with the sodium hydroxide. There is no reaction with the aluminum sulfate, lead nitrate, or silver nitrate. The next reactions are those of the sodium carbonate. The sodium carbonate forms a bright white precipitate with aluminum sulfate, barium chloride, lead nitrate, and silver nitrate, as well as an opaque, almost gelatinous precipitate with the zinc chloride. The next reactions are those of the sodium hydroxide. The sodium hydroxide forms a white precipitate with aluminum sulfate, barium chloride, lead nitrate, and zinc chloride, as well as a brown precipitate with silver nitrate. There is no reaction 
with the potassium iodide, sodium carbonate, or sodium hydroxide. The last reaction pattern is that of the zinc chloride solution. The zinc chloride forms a bright white precipitate with the silver nitrate, as well as other white precipitates with sodium carbonate and sodium hydroxide. There is no reaction with the aluminum sulfate, barium chloride, lead nitrate, potassium iodide, or zinc chloride. With all of the reaction patterns observed, you can now use these observations to determine the identity of your eight unknown solutions. The eight unknown solutions are all reacted with each other, and you can use these observations of known reactions to conclude what the identity is. You can use obvious reactions, such as those with lead nitrate and silver nitrate, to identify specific reaction combinations quickly. And then, from there, think of it like a puzzle. You're going through and trying to figure out what the different patterns are and what the different compounds are that are in the overall reactions.